very good. You want to say something? Good morning, my friends. Val Furtado, and welcome aboard. I am going back to Fort Lauderdale to look at another catamaran. And even though we already get, uh, got the go ahead or the approval on our offer on the Fontaine Pajute, well, before signing that piece of paper, I'm gonna look at one more and see what it has to offer. So you're gonna follow along and see. So this is looking at the uh, Privilege 435. It's a 2001 and you have no idea how many times I've inquired about this boat in the past. Um, is this the sprint pole for the, uh, for the roller furling? Yes. Sprint zero. Get the uh, Genoa. Right. And the uh, sail. Which is also a storm sail. Am I correct? Yeah. Uh, it's the same purpose? Yes. Sir. Okay. So I will ask some stupid questions because it's I... Okay. It's all part of the process. Okay. All right. Let's go on board. And she's a 24 foot beam, right? Thank you. Hi, I'm Staley. Yeah, exactly. It's Chris from Carroll. I thought you had a wife you were bringing. Well, she unfortunately got called back to work today. Oh, okay. Okay, well, so. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, you know, I, we were enjoying the, co uh, you know, uh, well, well yeah. it's not a perfect situation, but we were enjoying our time together. Yeah. This boat is set up. It's been its first ten years in the Mediterranean. Okay. So it's actually set up for European travel. Okay. It has a passerelle. Okay. And crossing dock lines. It's, Okay. You never okay. see this on America. What's boats. happened to the floaties on the uh, dinghy? I'm, 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 where is oh, your dinghy? You don't see um, uh, I mean, did you re are you replacing the floats, is, right. uh, the uh, tubes? Yeah. Is that what's going that's, on? Yeah. yeah, let's put it this way here. They need to be replaced so they were not typically visually appealing. Okay. So depending on if, you know, what the number is, uh, you know, what we okay. sell it for, we'll either sell it with them or without them. Okay. It's about $2,000. Is that uh, the cost? Yeah, I never looked into that. I always yeah. seen them. They were already prepared. Well, I see the, this is the, a, the, all the, a hard shell, all fiberglass on the uh, helm well, and these, all that stuff. Yeah, these are very expensive friggin' things. But yeah. the tubes only last as long as these have lasted. Okay, okay. So anyway, yep, the dinghy uh, needs the, uh, the tubes. So let's see. Uh, the pictures are pretty much what I see. All right. Out the, uh, the upholstery. You said you have a sample of what the new upholstery looks like? Oh, I don't have it here. Oh, it's, okay. it's just a basic blue. Okay. It's it's not to terribly nautical. You know, it's not have anchors and starfish. Right, right, right. But it's blue. It's a soft. And it will be more. It's not plaid. It's just I a, understand. Um, with a with a slight pattern okay. in it, but that's all. Okay. So uh, we sold this boat new to the uh, to the I mean, first owner, like, and he did. The roll of fabric. Yeah, why not? Okay, the nav station. Right. Um, so when, when the original owner had this boat built, he had this console specially built in here with the storage and right. the uh, the microwave in it. Got it. Okay. Um, he had this table uh, made custom so that it would fold down, so he didn't have a solid table in here all okay. the time. It takes up a lot of space, and obviously. That comes up and then down on this the side. Sally, design, let me look. Yes, uh, that's circular. exactly What's right. That? That, which is typical with all these 435s. Right. And I was wondering as to why this was changed. He wanted to have another double bed here, so that lowers down and with the with the back cushions okay. put down horizontal, then it makes a, a, a big full double okay bed. okay. So was this done in factory or was this yeah, done after the factory? Fact? Yeah. That's original. Come down here, I'll show you the other factory. Really? Stuff that was done. Oh, nice staircase. So he, nice. had, he added all this uh, storage in, in here. Yes, I love so this. I saw enough. this in the pictures, so I was wondering exactly he how it this like little out. workstation, you know, yes. office area. Beautiful. Uh, here. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. This is all factory stuff. Okay. This is a sight gauge for the uh, water tank, so you can see, you know, the meniscus where the where the water level is. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. All right, the birds, the they, they sit fairly case. high, huh? Uh, yeah, because the, the hull goes oh, up. Right, like exactly. That, right? So you're over the deck. But you've got, you know, some drawers here. Okay. All nicely finished. Okay. So climbing up, boom, boom, boom. Well, you don't have to do that so much on that bird. Right, okay. So you can choose whichever cabin's the most comfortable for you. So this is the uh, head. Okay. For, for this side of the boat. And okay. there's a shower in here. So it's for uh, both, but that. That's just a shower and a uh, okay. sink up there. So, got you. So, you got uh, a shower that's standalone and the sink. You said a sink over here? Oh, it's on the shower compartment. Okay. No toilet there. That's what I'm Got you. Out. Got you. Okay. Nice. Well, I'm familiar with the privileges, and that's why I'm here. Um, this, one, a this one's always been in particularly good shape. You know, okay. Or, uh, I don't know what the other owner did, but the fellow that uh, that owned this boat before. Yes. Nice and dry. In all these compartments. You don't mind if I look at a couple of things there. Yeah, you want to have a look at the engine? Uh, yes, I would. Okay, so we have to lift up that uh, that berth uh, there. Slide okay. The cushion back, and then there's a. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's rack. underneath. That's the excess. Yeah. Uh, you uh, would remove the rack, and all oh, right. We'll get to that later. Yeah. Why don't you come up, look at the other side, and then I'll open those engine compartments. Up. So when he had this boat built. Yes. He had it built all U.S. specifications. Gotcha. So U.S. power, shore power, propane, all that stuff. Okay. Uh, most of these privileges were built to uh, 220 euros. Spec. <coughs> right, 50 hertz. And, uh, but now. now, a lot of these privileges had water leaks in these uh, windows here. Yeah. And this boat did have that. The, okay. The original owner. Had yeah. those repaired, and we can check with Chris, the owner. But uh, okay. as far as I'm aware, the last time I was uh, on the boat, everything was sealed, no problems. Okay. No questions asked. No registration needed. It's just healthy food for hungry kids who need it. Is this a vinyl laminate? Or is it is it? not. It's okay. a uh, it's a material called Streamfast. Okay. And it is a aluminum oxide finish, so it's super durable, UV stable, no problem with uh, with water. It doesn't warp. Okay. And um, yeah, that's what's de designed to do is to be in uh, in boats. Okay, good deal. But it's it, it's like a very thick formica is, is what it is I, with I aluminum oxide totally. finish. Okay, I understand that. Yeah, that was part of that console that he had right, built right. in there. Okay, so you got. Uh, Okay. So he told Fridge. me he did, he did some stuff with these cabinets here when he ordered the boat. I think this is pretty standard, but I don't know, maybe he opened it up somehow. Uh, you got the engine uh, compartment back there for uh, for that berth, and then you've got a head shower here. Okay, again, uh, this is a standalone shower? Yeah. Okay. So, you got a toilet, shower, sink. Oh, okay, okay. It's wet. A wet head. Basically. Yep. Okay. Nice, nice finish. Uh, yeah, privilege is well known for their uh, wood finish. Well, absolutely. Nice, easy circuits to get to. A lot of that looks like it's been updated. Okay, nice little storage. Yeah. So here, uh, they did a fridge and freezer, uh, additional. Okay, I saw that. Yeah, and they're uh, all nice uh, stainless steel lines. You got one at the galley. Yes, uh, right. and which is a fridge. Right. So what's the freezer? Freezer. Uh, so you got ice in here. Okay, so that's the only freezer you got right this now. This one I think is a freezer also. We'll ask Chris. Okay. Some more uh, cabinet space here. Okay, okay. Yeah, for like a pantry. Additional to the pantry and same yeah. thing again, the mm -hmm. layout of the desk uh, set up. This opens here. Okay. And my wife is, well, boats. You need a lot of storage, so all the storage you could get, you know. 
So, uh, same berth we saw before, you got your drawers here. Yes. So what he did is instead of having a, uh, a head or shower here, Yes. because he was doing long-term cruising and live aboard, okay. he had this built as a storeroom. So he had all spare parts and tools and everything gotcha. in here. Gotcha. Um, and then he used to hang his, um, like his wetsuits and dive gear uh, there on the side. Okay. So it's but you can have a, kind have of a look a, in there. Yep, absolutely. So. Okay. How many AC units on this boat? I see I one think here. There's uh, three, but, small. but I'll, okay. I'll ask Chris. Okay. Those are those are relatively new units. Gotcha. Okay. So when I had the boat listed before, um, it didn't have AC, so um, it's been put in. Looks like they did a nice job. They got all the vents in the right places. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, what do you got for long term? Water maker, um, generator. Well, we had a look uh, any at those items. we had a look at the listing. We'll have a look at that now. Yeah, it's a confusing listing. Uh, did not list many of those items. So solar panels. Yeah. Air conditioning. Yeah, I hate that list because you, it's like you got to read a book and most Talk of it is guy. standard. He's the one that made it. Yeah, and most of it is standard that comes with a privilege. It doesn't break down specifically to this one in a lot of it. I read that up. I tried to make sense of it. He, he just cut and paste uh, uh, some old listings. Right, right, okay. You know, I'm used to seeing, you know, a list of what I make of this. You know, generator this. Uh, That's the way we do it at my yeah. company. Uh, yeah, yeah, and this one is like you got to read a book. So uh, I did not see it there. I don't think it has it. We'll ask Chris. Okay. Okay. It's a nice layout. I I, I love some of the features as I anticipated, as I expected. Um, it doesn't feel bad walking in here, which is one it's of my it's big. It's cool. It's a nice light interior. It's very airy. It's right. a galley up. Right, right. Yeah, now it comes to, because the, the determining factor on this is would I be getting all these other equipment that's not involved with the other one? And the other one is not a privilege, so. What, what's it, the other boat? It's a Fonte yeah, Peugeot. Like, yeah, it's actually the inside, which is this right here. You like the back side? Oh, yeah. that, that is the inside. Yeah, the yeah, yeah right I, I like, I like this. Outside, that, but I'm I sorry. like that. But here's the thing. If you were to decide to buy the boat, yes. you know, He'll either, he'll, you can bring fabric and, I mean, he has all the cushions. You know, right, right. I understand, yeah, exactly. because but the pictures show them. Or, or the you know, we just give you a discount, you know, for okay. doing the cushions yourself. Okay. Since okay. The, the cushions are going to the sewer tomorrow. Right. Okay. But if you were really interested and yeah. you wanted a different fabric, I couldn't care less. I'm going to walk this below. video with my wife. Well, which, which side of the boat had the uh, the boat that burned next to it? Was right. it this side? Yeah, look there and you'll see. Later on. I can see it. Looks fine to me. Yeah, I don't see any bubbling or anything like that. How about sales? Do you know what it has for sales? I know that it has a spreader. From what I can tell, we've got a main and jib. We'll ask Chris when you go back there. Okay. This sail looks very new to me. So there's some burning on that. There's some smoke on that uh, furling. Yes. I checked it. The bearing's okay on it. Okay. obviously been up before but right, right. okay this, this is where you typically see a lot of wear you know, right the right that goes up okay the yeah the, the front edge the leading oh, yeah, edge yeah the v strip looks okay 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 these are chain forward lockers okay so you can see the chain back there yeah and 
the propane lockers here in the back. All that's right. good. Yeah. See this? This is probably getting cleaned up, but it's okay. Right, right. Right, absolutely. Okay. Trampolines are in pretty good shape. Nice anti skid. Radar dome up there. Right, I On saw that. On this side, you got a radar reflector. All right. You got the wind instruments up at the top. Yeah. Two, uh, two halyards, one for the stay sail, one for the Genoa. It's got steps going up the side. I see that. Top. I see that. Okay. Boom looks like it's been repainted. And that's a that's a newer uh, Doyle uh, stack pack, that cradle cover. Yes. This is about the here. I reach. Yeah, the boom was definitely painted. The paint still in really good shape. Is it? Yeah, it's fairly new. Okay. The previous owner, I think, had a new one put on uh, before he sold it, but that still looks like it's in good shape. Okay. See, there's no wear on the left there. That's the only way you see the majority of it. Okay. Okay, that's your control for the uh, winch. The remote foot switch. Deck's got good room. Uh, do you have AIS, uh, send, transmit? Uh, um, the, the boat has AIS with, it's included in the VHF. Okay. Um, now, I have seen that wind thing work, but, and it just isn't now, but I think it's the anemometer at the masthead, which is why I bought a new one. Oh, you haven't tried one of those at the top of the mast yet? Right. I have not. All right. Well, I, I've had it in the cockpit on an extension cable, and it worked. Okay. So when I, when I put it up at the masthead, it then didn't. So it's a connection issue between this unit and the masthead? Um, I don't know. Love the heavy teak. Oh, because these guys are going to open that for us. Chris, can we have a look at the engines? Yeah, yeah it's open. Oh, okay. Yeah. And one is fine. One usually indicates what the condition is. Can we believe the one on the other side also? Sure. Okay. We got a little bit of oil residue on the bottom. Excuse me? A little bit of oil residue on the bottom. Looks like diesel fuel from a oh, filter diesel? change. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I know that. Uh, you got a ray core filter. Yeah, easy enough to work on. Not completely congested. No rust. Nuts, bolts are still fairly clean, all the clamps, no rust on yeah. that. Uh, we use this stuff called corrosion inhibitor, it's made by CRC, but okay. it cleans that all keeps, that stuff up yeah. and prevents it from getting uh, okay. any worse. There's also a through hole there, so if you want to add a water maker or a generator, you've already got the through hole there for the raw water intake. Where is that? Right oh, right on the bottom, I see it. This I think there's another off. one. Uh, there yeah. as well, it looks like. And uh, hot water, uh, hot water uh, heater, you're hot right. Water heater, right? right? Okay, which is engine driven? That is. Uh, yeah, looks, like it's engine, looks like it's engine and electric. 
Okay. So it'll work off a 110 volt uh, short mm -hmm. power generator or from running the engine. Actually, there's a power wire here that's not clipped off. Red tip. That's a four ten stove. Oh, okay. okay. I'm assuming these wires are all electrical, uh, all uh, marine grade. Uh, that's going through here. It looks like a regular MC cable. Yeah. Okay. We didn't have like that other engine. Now turn the light on. There's a Thank you. You really don't see a whole lot with right, it. Right. It's better than nothing. But I'm sure it's a mirror image of the other one. Now, okay. this one is a little different in that if you come this way. Yes. You see those two boxes? Yes. And see the yellow switches? Okay, yeah. Those are battery combiners. Oh, okay. Okay. So the boat right now is set up that it can take either 250 to 220 power, right, or 110. Got gotcha. you. Or you can plug in both if you wanted. Okay. And the boat will automatically only use one. Okay. And the two, the 220 is the preferred, is its preference. Right. Those things combine both start batteries with the house batteries. And the yellow switch on top allows you to interconnect any battery to any other battery. Okay. Um, and electrically, if the house bank gets fully charged, gotcha. it'll make sure that the automatically make sure the motor batteries are charged. Okay. Okay. Now it doesn't go the other way around. <laughs> okay. Everything okay. feeds the house bank. The alternators feed first the batteries right. or the, the, the motor. motor battery. Yeah, okay, you got it. yeah. Right. But when when everything is full, they'll check to see if the other needs okay. something and okay. then open up. I see. And that's automatic. And this is a new inverter. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, what's the power on that? Well, One ten. It's a two thousand watts. Two thousand watts. Okay. Um. Yeah, but, uh, is there any reason, I mean, this is the first time I'm seeing, looking yeah. at a cat, that we have a little bit of water in the No, pool. there's, not there's a, no water. reason for that at all, and I don't recall it being there. I suspect it's that water pump right there. Okay. Which I'll look into. Okay. Of course, the oil's all been changed, the sail drive, fluids okay. have all been changed. I've um, redone both the propellers are max props, okay. which are feathering right, right. Okay. props. Right, right. Um, okay. they're, they work, they're in good shape. Okay, and everything looks pretty good in here. Nice well, and clean. It's, yeah. it's, it's clean, it uh, looks good. It's, it's clean now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The soot didn't get in there, but just engine rooms in general are, right. okay. are horrible. Chris, how many AC units do you have on board? Thank you. Um, okay, before you go too far, there are two. Yes, one, I saw yes. one over here. I think I saw this one. Yeah. One. Oh, uh, different. I did not see it. Is behind here. Okay. That this is the secondary filter. Okay. And it's in a space that wasn't used for anything. So okay. it's back you. there. These are the hoses. Right. Now here's the charge controller. If okay. You, you actually have to stick your head around because right. this will it tells you but that's like one of the best charge controllers there is okay this is the box for the ac gotcha. that's a sixteen thousand btu ac okay, okay. i saw a, a five thousand or an eight thousand on the right other in, in in the forward cabin on the other side yes there's a um 
5,000 or is it 7,000? Uh, either five, way, it's on the yeah, small yeah, size. Yeah. yeah. And that one is ducted so that it cools just Both the two front, front cabins. cabins. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let me look at this uh, shower thing. I think this is kind of neat and important. Well, uh, which for, is for definitely. For whatever reason, this is the cabin the previous owners decided chose to as, use. Right, right. This, it looks a little weird. This is a thermal rest mattress. Right. This mattress has to weigh 200 pounds. Yeah. It's just, it is a monster to move. Yeah, but yeah. It's, okay. it's really comfortable. All right. And then that's where the AC comes in. Um, I replaced all the fans. They're all... Right, they're right. All, because this fan, the Hella from yes. Germany... Yeah. The only one that's worthwhile. I, I mean, they had... Okay. Yeah, but the, they're, I like they're the, all... the wall coverings are not uh, not bad. I like this uh, uh, fabric, but uh, a couple of areas need a little bit of... Uh, this is the kind of thing little... that privilege would would do right, right. that nobody else does. Much is disappointing, but thanks for watching. I will see you next step, which will probably be the closing of the boat. So that will be exciting. And then the sail from here to... Uh, to our area, the docking, and I mean, so much great stuff happening in our life. Hope you uh, decide you want to join us.